Whenever I send out mailings to my customers, I use the mail merge feature in Word to automate the process of printing the envelope address labels. In the first step of the process, I specify the label size and placement on the page so Word knows where to print the label information. Let me show you how I do that. In a blank Word document, I click the Mailings tab. In the Start Mail Merge group, I click Start Mail Merge, and I see the different ways I can use the Mail Merge feature. I can even use a wizard to step through the process, but for now, I'll click Labels. In the Label Options dialog box, I specify the tray where I've loaded the labels. Using the product information printed on the label package, I select the vendor name and the product number for the labels I'll be using so that Word can set up the label content to print correctly. Notice that as I highlight a product number, the dimensions for that product are shown under Label Information. When I find the right product, I click OK. If the table grid lines have been hidden, it may not be obvious that Word has laid out my sheet of labels on the page. To see the cell boundaries, I click in the middle of the page so that I've clicked in the table. I go to the Table Tools tab that displays now and click Layout. In the Tables group, I click View Grid Lines. The cells of the table are the same dimension as the labels I have specified. I can check this by looking at the cell markings on the horizontal and vertical rulers. And by the way, if you're only seeing one label per page, or if you don't find the product number you need, I'll give you some tips on what to do in a moment. But my table looks like I want it to, and I'm ready to save my work. Now I can continue setting up the mail merge by selecting the recipients from a data source. You can move on to the next demo where I show you that, or keep watching for some troubleshooting tips. Let's say you've finished setting up your labels, but Word displays only one label on the page. This happens, for example, if you've set up a document by selecting Microsoft as the vendor and half letter as the product. For these options, there's nothing amiss. You just have to look closely to see the label boundary around the edge of the page. If you click the Home tab, and then, in the Paragraph group, click Show Hide Paragraph Marker, you can see the label marker. Here's another tip. What happens if, when you're specifying label options, you can't find the product number you want? If you find another product with exactly the same sheet and label dimensions, you can select it instead. Otherwise, select a product with dimensions similar to those of your labels and click New Label to create a custom size. Name the label and adjust the dimensions for the sheet and for the labels, as illustrated in the preview. Then click OK. After you've created a new label, you can always find it in the Label Options dialog box. Select Other Custom as the label vendor, and then select the label you've created from the list of available products. Now let's move on to the next demo, and I'll show you how to select recipients.